again in our new class. So currently we are discussing about the temperate zone, right? So in the previous class we have discussed about the climate and the plant life of the temperate zone. So do you remember what we have learned in the previous class? So say me, how will be the climate of the temperate zone? Yes, temperate zone will be very hot in summer and it will be quite cold in winter, right? So in summer season there will be a moderate rainfall whereas in winter season there will be heavy snowfall. Very good. Yes, now say me about the plant life. So grasslands means a large area covered with grasses, right? So can we see trees here? No, we can see only less number of trees because it receives only moderate rainfall, right? And what are the crops grown in plenty here? Wheat and corn, right? So this are about the plant life. So we have discussed till this in our previous class, right? So in today's class, we are going to discuss about the animal life and life of the people in this temperate zone, okay? So we are going to see what are the animals and birds we can see in this temperate zone as well as the life of the people who in this temperate zone, okay? Shall we start? Yes. First, let us discuss about the oil life in temperate zone, okay? So we know, right? So the grasslands in different parts of the world have different names, right? So now we are going to see what are the different animals we can see in different grasslands, okay? So first let us see the animals in North America. So what is the name of the grasslands in North America? In North America, the name of the grasslands is prairies, right? Prairies. So now we are going to see what are the animals we can see in the grasslands of North America. That is in prairies, okay? First buffalo. Can you see this? This is the buffalo we can see in this prairies, okay? Then see this is elk. Elk, okay? Elk seen in this prairies. Now see this is bison. Bison in prairies, okay? And then see this is coyote. This animal is coyote which is in a prairies, okay? And this is prairie dog. Looking like squirrel, right? So this is the prairie dog, okay? So these are some of the important animals we can see in the grasslands of North America. That is in prairies, okay? Yes, now let us see the animals in South America, okay? What are the important animals we can see in the grasslands of South America? That is pampas, okay? The grasslands in South America is known as pampas, okay? Now, shall we see the animals that we can see in pampas? First, see a ria. A ria, this is a bird, okay? This is the largest bird in South America. So, same which is the largest bird in South America? Ria, okay? Yeah, so, in pampas, we can see this bird, a ria, okay? And then, see this animal is guanaco. Guanaco seen in pampas, okay? And next is grey fox. What is this animal? Grey fox seen in pampas, okay? And then see this is the deer which we can see in pampas, okay? So those are the animals that we can see in the grasslands of South America that is pampas, okay? Now let us see what are the animals we can see in Australia, okay? So the grasslands are in Australia are known as what? Downs, okay? The grasslands in Australia are known as downs. Now let us see what are the animals we can see in this downs, okay? Yes, first see this bird, emu, okay? This is emu seen in downs, okay? Emu in downs. And then see this is kangaroo, okay? We know, right? Australia is famous for kangaroos, right? So this is kangaroo seen in downs. And then see this is wallaby, okay? Wallaby seen in downs, okay? So these are the some important animals we can see in the grasslands of Australia that just in downs, okay? Yes, now let us see the important animals we can see in Russia, grasslands in Russia. So, the name of the grasslands in Russia is Stephas, okay? So, now let us see what are the animals we can see in this Stephas, okay? First, Ibex. See this animal? Ibex, okay? And then see sheep. This is the sheep we can see in Russia, okay? And then see vulture, this bad vulture, okay? So, these are some of the important animals we can see in the grasslands of Russia, that is steppers, okay? 
Now let us see what are the animals we can see in the grasslands of South Africa. Okay. So the grasslands in South Africa are known as whales. Okay. The grasslands in South Africa are known as what? Whales. Now let us see what are the animals we can see in this whales. Okay. See lion. So in this grasslands we can see lion. Okay. And then leopard. Leopard and the rhinoceros. Okay. So, these are the animals we can see in the grasslands of South Africa. Okay. Now, let us recall all the animals we have learned now. Okay. Now, let us see what the animals we can see in each and every grasslands. Okay. So, first we have seen the animals in prairies. Right. Animals in prairies. So, prairies is in which continent? Which is in North America. Right. So, in North America, what are the animals we can see? Buffalo, elk, bison, coyote, wolf and prairie dog. So in the grasslands of North America, that is in prairies, we can see animals such as buffalo, elk, bison, coyote, wolf and prairie dog. Right? Yes, now let us see the animals in pampas. So pampas are the grasslands located in? Yes, South America, right? So now let us see what are the animals we can see in pampas that is in South America, okay? So we can see the animals such as Rhea, Gonaco, Grey Fox and Deep. Rhea, Gonaco, Grey Fox and Deep. Among this, this Rhea is the largest bird in South America, okay? Yes, now let us see what are the animals we can see in downs. So downs are the grasslands located in Australia, right? So now let us see what are the animals we can see in this downs. Lemu, kangaroo and wallaby. So what are the animals we can see in Australia? Lemu, kangaroo and wallaby, right? Yes, now let us see what are the animals we can see in steppers. So steppers are the grasslands located in Russia, right? So now let us see what are the animals we can see in steppers that is in Russia, okay? So what are the animals? Only three. Sheep, ibex and vultures. Sheep, ibex and vultures. Okay. And at last, we now let us see what the animals we can see in whales. So, whales are the grasslands located in South Africa, right? Yes. So, now let us see the animals we can see in South Africa. Okay. What are they? Lion, leopard and rhinoceros. Okay. So, these are the things about the animal life in the temperate zone. Okay. So, these are some of the animals and birds we can see in the temperate zone. Okay. Now let us discuss about the life of the people in the temperate zone. Okay, their occupation and what are the tribes we can see in this temperate zone. Okay. So first thing, it is densely populated. Okay, densely populated means what? Thickly populated. Okay. So nowadays the grasslands have been destroyed for agriculture. We have learned about this in our previous class, right? So most of the grasslands have been destroyed for agriculture. So People started living there, right? So it is densely populated. And their main occupation is farming. Okay, people are mostly dependent on farming. So farms are very large and modern machinery is used for farming. Okay, so farmlands, the lands they will use for cultivation, now that will be very large. And indeed, they are using nowadays modern machines. Okay, modern machines for their cultivation. So if they use modern machines, their result will be very good, right? So, they will produce large crops, right? So, in the last class in the video we have seen, right? The spreaders are known as the wheat basket of the world. That means why? So, it produces large number of wheat, okay? So, as their farmlands are large, with that they are using modern machines also, right? So, their production will be also many more, okay? So, that's why their main occupation is farming, okay? See how they are farming there? They are using modern machines also. Okay. Yes, now see many people in North America own ranches. So, do you have any idea about ranches? What are ranches? See, people keep hogs, rear cattle for milk and meat, and sheep for wool and dairy products in these ranches. Okay. So, ranches means an area where animals are grown. Okay. They, the place where they Okay, so what are the cat what are the animals they are rearing? See, people will keep hogs. So they are rearing hogs and also some cattle for milk and meat. So what are the cattle we will grow for milk and meat? Maybe some
something like cow goat right so we are catch it for milk and meat and also they are using sheep for wool and dairy products okay so among them see there is a sheep called very no sheep okay so high quality wool okay this wool is been high quality so high quality wool wool called very no wool very no wool is obtained from the very no sheep in downs of australia so in downs of australia we can see very no wool which is obtained from very no sheep okay and this wool is of high quality okay so in north america most of the people own what ranches okay so in ranches they will keep horses and also they will rear cattle for milk and meat and also sheep sheep for wool and dairy products okay among them in downs of australia very no wool is obtained from very no sheep okay yes see, this is ranches okay place where the animals are grown and then see, this is very no sheep okay from this sheep sheep only we are getting a high quality wool called merino wool okay this is merino sheep yes now let us see the tribes okay so this grassland consists of many indigenous tribes okay so this is a home to many indigenous tribes so what do you mean by the term indigenous tribes so they are not the people who have migrated from some other place and they have settled here okay not that not like that they belong to that grasslands from their beginning itself okay they are not migrants okay so these people are called indigenous tribes so that grasslands are their home okay home from the very beginning so in steppes the tribes are known as kirgis okay in steppes the tribes are known as kirgis and in south africa the tribes are known as hottentots and in north america they are known as american indians okay so this temperate grasslands are home to many indigenous tribes and in steppes the tribes are known as kirgis in south africa the tribes are known as hottentots and in north america the tribes are known as american indians okay so that's all about the life of the people of temperate zone okay so with this we have discussed everything about the temperate zone right yes now we know how will be the climate in temperate zone how will be the plant life in temperate zone how will be the animal life in temperate zone and how will be the life of the people in temperate zone right so now let us recall about the temperate zone with the help of a small video okay the temperate zone do you know where the temperate zone is located The temperate zone lies between the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle in the northern hemisphere. In the southern hemisphere, it lies between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle. The regions located within the temperate zone are covered with short and soft wild grass. Hence they are also called grasslands. The grasslands are known by different names in different continents. They are called prairies in North America, steppes in Russia, pampas in South America, veldts in South Africa, and downs in Australia. The climate experienced in the grasslands is varied. The grasslands in the northern hemisphere are located far away from the sea towards the interior of the continent. This results in a difference of temperatures during summer and winter. Summers are very hot with moderate rainfall. Winters are very cold with heavy snowfall. Temperate grasslands are generally treeless. This is because these regions receive low or moderate rainfall which makes it difficult for tall trees to grow. Foxtail and alfalfa alfa are some common grasses found in these regions. Much of the prairies have now been cleared for agriculture and a wide variety of crops are grown here. Crops such as wheat and corn are mainly grown by farmers. A variety of animals and birds also live in the temperate grasslands. Elk, wolf, and prairie dog are some animals found in the prairies of North America. Rhea, the largest bird of South America, 
and deer are found in the pampas of South America, emu, and kangaroo are found in the downs of Australia. Sheep, jaboa, and vultures are found in the steppes of Russia. Lion and leopard are found in the wells of South Africa. The main occupation of the people is farming. The farms are very large and modern machinery is used for farming. Many people living in North America own large ranches where they keep horses, rear cattle for milk and meat, and sheep for wool and dairy products. Let us recall what we just learnt. The temperate zone lies between the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere. In the Southern Hemisphere, it lies between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle. Most of the region in the temperate zone is covered with grasslands. The grasslands are called prairies in North America, steppes in Russia, pampas in South America, wells in South Africa, and downs in Australia. The temperate grasslands are rich in wildlife and vegetation. The main occupation of the people is agriculture and animal rearing. Yes, children, now shall we recap all the concepts what we have done in today's class? So today we have discussed about the life, animal life and the life of the people in temperate zone, right? So now what are the animals we can see in prairies? Buffalo, elk, bison, coyote, wolf and prairie dog, right? So what are the animals we can see in pampas? Rhea, guanaco, grey fox and bee. And what are the animals we can see in downs? Emu, kangaroo and wallaby. And what are the animals we can see in steppers? Sheep, ibex, and vultures. And at last, what are the animals we can see in birds? Lion, leopard, and rhinoceros, right? And now, what about the life of the people in temperate zone? So, it is densely populated as most of the area of grasslands have been destroyed for agriculture, right? And their main occupation is farming, and these farms are very large and they use modern machinery for cultivation. Yes, now many people in North America own ranches. So in ranches they will keep horse or they will rear keep cattle for milk and meat and also they will grow sheep for wool and dairy products. Okay. And yet merino wool is obtained from merino sheep in downs of Australia. So in Australia they are having a sheep called merino sheep from which we will get a high quality wool called merino wool. Yes, now this grasslands are home to many indigenous tribes. In steppers, the tribes are known as Kyrgyz. In South Africa, the tribes are known as Hottentots. And in North America, they are known as American Indians. So, now we have completely discussed about temperate zone, right? So, if you have any doubt in this temperate zone, contact me, okay? So, in the next class, we can discuss about the climate in the frigid zone, okay? Meet you in the next class. Thank you.